Hey guys, welcome back. My name is RFB and today I'll be teaching you a few hints and tricks on to becoming a better Fortnite player. And yeah, let's get right into it. So I fast forwarded this gameplay. Currently I have three kills. We came from Risky. We took over Risky, but unfortunately two of our teammates were eliminated, but we actually end up winning this game, so stay tuned guys, hope you like it. Before we get into it, can you guys please hit that like button and please subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so that you would be, um, so that as soon as I post something, you get a notification about it, so yeah. Number one, the way you can actually become a better Fortnite player is by customizing your settings, by personal personalizing your settings uh, that best suit you. So you should take your, your what do you call it, your sensitivity X and Y into consideration your auto aim if you like auto aim or not and right here this is our first encounter other than the one that came from Misty and yeah so from this point on I start playing a bit passively and waiting for him to make the first move because I realize that he is a RPG so if I were to get closer, you just keep spamming me. With it. So I start playing faster and start analyzing the situation. I get higher ground, which is the best thing. And as soon as my teammate joins in, I start pushing. Take out my shotgun, tap him once, tap him twice. And the way I did this, guys, was very simple. I basically customized my sensitivity so i would become comfortable with it okay see i didn't miss one shot with my shotgun which is quite rare to find because not many people have quite, quite uh, have 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 good aim and like i do so yeah the first thing to improving your aim is finding sensitivity that best suits you so I fast forwarded here because I went AFK. But our next encounter was was somewhere here. But yeah, let me not spoil it, just watch this. So in squads, if you are playing uh dual squads or solo squads, the best thing to do is play very passively. That's my tip number four. Playing very passively. You only start pushing once you see weakness in your opponents, that's the best thing to do when you see weakness in your opponents. And yeah, I see a bush and I know it's a new. And tip number five is when you shoot, you can, you, you, you can start crouching because crouching actually doesn't reduce your aim and it makes it harder for the opponent to get hit on you. So yeah. That's actually one, another tip. So a tip that Ninja uses. And also arranging your gun guys. So the reason why I picked a drum gun over a green AR was that um, since the circle um, since the circle was getting smaller, um, close range combat became more free close range com combat become more frequent so um and drum guns have a higher fire rate than any other gun so yeah it's, it's actually the best gun to choose in this situation so yeah basically and as you can see in tip number seven uh when i start jumping like that uh since 
almost 80% of the people that are in this lobby as snipers it's better to keep jumping so you can avoid getting sniped especially if you're running in straight lines another thing to do is run, run sideways excuse me run sideways um, and that also reduces the risk of you being sniped at so yeah And these tips actually work because I'm playing, uh, I'm playing from Namibia, Africa, and our ping isn't actually that great. It's about 100, 170. That's the lowest it can go. That's the best you can find in uh, in Africa. So us Africans are really struggling. So th there was a petition. I think I'll leave a link in description. There was a petition or you can just uh, simply search uh, petition for South African servers on Google and you'll find that petition over there. So we can s start playing with better ping because in Europe uh, Fortnite players have a greater advantage than us Africans because their ping actually doesn't go over 100 and stays within the 80s and 70s okay so as soon as we see the circle um the zone the safe zone we realize that we have to take we, if we take higher ground it will actually actually be key so i decided i'm gonna take higher ground and splitting up in dual squads is actually a smart thing to do because it's you likely you have a, a a slight chance of being spotted by the last opponent so splitting up is actually the smartest thing to do unfortunately aj gets into some trouble he's actually fighting off a team right now and i actually see the guys that he's fighting below me so i decide i'm gonna start throwing clinches actually land one then i throw an extra one and this teammate actually tries to come to me so i start building and I actually have higher ground here so i realize this teammate is just behind me and i'm gonna throw one rpg which actually hits me and i land one shotgun and actually eliminate him with my with my drum gun that's why i actually picked the drum gun and the secret about scars are that they deal quite an amount of damage guys they deal 70 to the head and about 30 to 40 to the body so two guys actually push me at this time and i can't quite do anything about it i don't actually die here so stay tuned i actually start building and escaping and fortunately these guys actually leave me alone because they realize they're getting pushed from above this is a stage where i just heal up and sort all my guns out because i know these are one of the last guys the five people left which means these two guys versus another two guys and a uh, solo team no, there are actually four people here. So these two guys and another two guys. Okay. But unfortunately AG dies, got knocked out by the storm. And from this point on I start panicking because I'm I am in the zone. But it, these guys can't see me and I start playing passive from this point forward. And actually one of these guys were knocked, so these teams of default realized that you know, I'm quite an advantage and from this point on I realized that I'm in a 1v1. So 1v1s are basically getting high ground advantage. So as I get the high ground, I know that I have an RPG, so I, from this point on I knew that I had a chance, I had a very high chance of winning this game 
because I had high ground and I could just keep setting this guy with an RPG and I knew he, and I knew he was very low. So I actually found a space in his base and um rocketed him. Is he rocketed? Okay. Shot him with a RPG once, which was quite simple. And guys, this is also another secret to getting high kill games is actually just anticipating the situation you're in so i so my observation of the situation was actually perfect because i knew when to stay behind and when to push so thank you again for watching this video um please leave a like and subscribe and yeah stay tuned for more videos guys peace